Hey guys, Lance Crone here. Um, doing a video today on uh, discipline. And um, so this one here um, is uh, really important and super controversial because I would say that nine out of 10 uh, fitness coaches uh, or transformation coaches are going to preach on discipline. And um, I, on the other hand, absolutely um, completely turn that, that away. Um, so what I mean by that is it's not that it doesn't take disciplined acts um, to get where you want to go in life or um, to, you know, to achieve your weight loss goals or your fitness goals. Um, it's not that. What it is is that people don't fail to reach their goals because they sheerly um, lack discipline. It is because they lack vision or direction or um, we can even say an underlying motivation. You know, they, they lack that clarity um, and they just haven't gotten um, either serious about that, about their, um, what their vision is, their dream, their goal, you know, input whatever word you want to put in there. And so what I recommend more so <clears throat> than trying to focus on whatever disciplines you think are necessary to reach whatever weight loss goals um, or you know toning goals or whatever your fitness journey is. Um, and this can be applied to anything. This is something that I've done with a lot of coaching clients. Um, the very first thing we wanna do is get rid of the notion that you have to be disciplined to reach any of that. Um, so to be put in a more practical sense, I highly recommend very first <clears throat> before you do anything is to figure out what you want um, to do that. I would, I would recommend getting really serious about where you are. Um, you know, being that most people with, um, you know, who seek out a transformation coach, they are looking for, you know, weight loss um, to have better quality of life. <clears throat> they don't like where they're at, whether that's how they look. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon my allergies. Um, and the key is here is that you have to first determine how, you know, how do you see yourself? Are you happy? And um, coincidentally, I just um, had this discussion with, uh, with one of my clients last night. Um, and there's a method that I take people through to really get serious about where they're at and how they feel about the current situation because you're not gonna be able to set a realistic goal, uh, one that's emotionally just um, forceful enough to drive you to the things that you want if you don't even know or if you're not even acknowledging how serious the pain point is that you're really at right now. What I mean by that is, <clears throat> If you know you've got you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds, maybe 80 pounds to lose, if you're telling yourself that things aren't really that bad or if you're not really allowing yourself to feel that pain enough to push you into some form of action, massive action, um, it, it doesn't matter what sort of discipline you have, it doesn't matter what sort of diet you have or what sort of workout plan, there will be a point in time when emotions get real, where you know you get tired, fatigued, tempted because you're you know you're at an event or you're just stressed and your your past habits are to emotionally eat or to stress eat. And so these things if you don't have your serious emotional why, you're going to repeat and perpetuate that same cycle over and over and over. So step one in this is going to be to get truly serious about how bad it really is for you. What I recommend, and this is what I just recommended to a client last night, is <clears throat> stand in front of the mirror. If, you're lo if we're talking about the physical, if we're talking about you know losing weight, Stand in front of the mirror with your clothes on and acknowledge what you see. Do you like what you see? 
Um, are you embarrassed by what you see? Is it not that bad for you yet? Is it something that you've convinced yourself that you're, um, you're okay? Or hey, maybe you have confidence even though you know that you're 20 or 30 pounds overweight, that's totally fine. Uh, but the fact of the matter is you've gotta be serious about where you're at. <clears throat> if that doesn't do it with the clothes on, <clears throat> get undressed and look at yourself. And this is not something for you to just beat, it, you know, beat yourself up and to, to you know, rip yourself to shreds. Uh, the world does it enough for us. We certainly don't need to add that um, to the list. What I want you to do though is just to look in the mirror and to be serious about what you see. And if you're less than satisfied with what you see or where you're at, then um, this is gonna help you. This is going to allow you <clears throat> to feel enough pain to get to where you must, not should, but must make a change. And that will start with a goal. And that is, what is your desired outcome? What is it that you desire over the next six months that would make you feel like the last six months were a complete success to where you feel like everything you've done was so worthwhile that you look into the mirror at the same point, you look into the mirror and you see yourself looking back at you and you say to yourself, instead of picking out the things that you wish were different, holy crap, I look so much better. And now it's time to think about fast forwarding and thinking about what does your confidence look like now? How do people see you? <clears throat> Six months has gone by um, you know, my average client will lose anywhere from six to 10 pounds in a month um, when they're following everything. So let's fast forward that six months, let's say on the low end, you're 35 pounds lighter. And it's just straight body fat. It's not water, it's body fat. You've lost 35 pounds of body fat in the, in the next six months. Fast forward that six months and you're staring back 35 pounds lighter. Maybe that's three, four, five sizes smaller. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. How does it feel now? What does your confidence look like? Imagine now, you know, putting on a, on a, a, a pair of um, pants and that pair of pants no longer fits because they're just draping off of you. So now you've got to go get a size that you've not worn since high school. What does that do for your confidence now? So the pain earlier that we look at the mirror and we're thinking about where we're at um, versus the pleasure of where we could be in six months, that alone is going to start driving some action. To go even one step further, take a look in six months. Imagine now that for six months, it goes by, you've done nothing different. The average American will gain anywhere from two to five pounds a month um, if they continue with a regular sedentary office environment um, lifestyle um, with the type of foods that we eat on a regular basis. So let's again say on the low end, we've gained 12 pounds, two pounds a month in six months. So now you're six months fast forwarding and you're looking into the mirror and you're about 12 pounds heavier than where you are now. And if you were serious about looking in the mirror and you thought about where you are right now and how that feels to you, now you're 12 pounds heavier. And again, this is not to get you to where you are completely ripping yourself to shreds and getting sad. This is about being real enough for a moment to be serious about the pain points. Because most of the time, unfortunately, <clears throat> we get into this cycle that we feel pain just enough for a moment to cause us to make an emotional reaction. And that emotional reaction is usually one that will stimulate some form of temporary pain relief. So we do something that's usually emotional eating, we feel better for a moment, we work out for a moment, um, we do something that satiates or satisfies that pain just for that moment or just for a little bit to decrease the pain level. And then once that pain level decreases, the seriousness of where we were or where we thought we were completely subsides and then it's lather, rinse, repeat. We go right back to the same habits we were in before and the cycle gets worse and worse and worse. And that unfortunately means that metabolism gets worse, confidence decreases, all of this stuff happens all in a matter of just thinking for a moment 
of how to satisfy that pain point because you don't allow yourself to feel it enough to, to let yourself take massive action by creating a goal. And so what I want you to do is just to focus and to, to be real for a moment about how you're going to feel if in six months nothing changes from where you're at and you continue to gain or you stay the same. And then to be real with yourself about how elated you might feel if in six months you're down 30, 40 pounds of body fat. What is your confidence like? How do people see you? Do you perceive that they see you in a different light now? Are you more confident to take um, you know, some different risks within your job? Um, do you feel like you're loved more? What does this do for you? When you begin thinking about this and you make this so real for yourself, now all of a sudden, you're able to create a goal based on that feeling, that emotion, all because you were real enough to think about the pain points. Now this here, this will drive you. If you let yourself truly feel the pain of where you are at right now, and you commit to not feeling this anymore, I can promise you that you will take actions that will completely turn you away from where you're at. And what I do with my coaching clients is I give them a step, um, a step-by-step -step program that allows them to keep that momentum from step one all the way till the end to where they are at this point, not only 180 degrees away from where they began, but their mentality, their lifestyle, their decision-making is also 180 degrees different from where they begin as well. So this is where we you know, look at a permanent transformation instead of, again, just thinking about satisfying or satiating that initial pain that we just didn't want to allow ourselves to be real enough to feel. When you do this, this is where you actually prevent um, the need or you completely um, negate the need for discipline. So this is why I can say no discipline, no problem. Because when you are absolutely focused, you are dialed in on your vision, your why, your emotional need to completely remove yourself from the situation, the environment that you're in, there is no need for discipline. And for myself as an example, it is not discipline that gets me out of bed and that gets me up and heads me to the gym um, to do my workout. It's not discipline. It might look like that to an outsider, but the, the real key here is my desire to focus on and to continue to achieve even more um, confidence than what I possess right now and thinking about where I was when I began my, um, my journey where my confidence was low, I saw myself as weak, as, as um, uh, well, lacking masculinity because I was just bone, skin, you know, just skin and bones and, uh, you know, skinny as a rail, whatever, you know, uh, cliche statement that you want to, you know, say, um, you know, the kids normally call one another. That was how I perceived myself. Now, was that reality? I have no idea. The fact of the matter is, what we perceive is our reality. So it doesn't matter whether you are morbidly obese or whether you're 10 pounds overweight. The fact of the matter is, or hey, maybe you struggle with the same thing, whether you're female or male, and you, you know, maybe you were constantly being told that you're underweight or that you're just so skinny and it bothers you. It doesn't matter whether you're overweight or underweight or whatever it is about yourself that causes your, um, your emotional state to be that of um, lacking confidence and to feel negative about yourself. Um, that is enough to drive you forward um, and that perception is what is your reality. So again, my challenge to you is to get real, focus on how bad the pain is, allow yourself to feel this enough um, to actually make a decision. And that first de decision should be to Write down a goal. Write down what it is that you want. Don't be realistic here. Be absolutely courageous with what you want. Think for a moment that everything or anything is achievable. Maybe not today, but it is achievable. 
even if you don't truly believe that yet, pretend that it's true and write down your goal based on that notion. And so just know that I have worked with people who have been, you know, two and 300 pounds overweight and worked with people who could not gain an ounce of muscle to save their lives. And I have helped them to achieve that. And it's all with what they had within them. And if it's possible for them, it is also possible for you. So with that being in mind, everything is achievable. Write down your goal. Write down why you want it. That means I would write down um, the pleasure that you're going to feel. So what's in it for you to win when you reach this, whether it's six months from now, etc. Why do you want this? And then I would also write down how the pain feels right now and what it'll mean if you don't make a change and let this drive you. This is where you will get vision and clarity of what it is that you need to do to change. So hopefully this helps. Um, this is why I don't need discipline. This is why my clients don't need discipline. And this is why I um, create these flexible programs for them. And this is why you're going to be seeing, especially more now, um, more and more of my clients seeing amazing results that um, in, in which they're going to be lasting permanent results because they're so serious about what their why is and what their goal is. And uh, they don't ever have to feel like they're deprived and like they're stuck in this rut or like they have to choose this disciplined, crazy regimen that they, in the back of their minds, feel and know that they're not going to be able to sustain. So um, I know even for myself, when I think about disciplined acts or doing things with monotony over and over that feel tedious, I know that immediately I'm already losing the faith in myself to continue to, um, to make a decision towards that. So if I struggle with that, I have to assume that at least a few of you watching might struggle with that same thing. So um, if this resonates with you, which I really hope that it does, and you're thinking to yourself that this makes sense, um, that you have tried the discipline route and you feel like you have failed um, time and time before and maybe you're a little bit nervous with getting started, I totally get it. Um, I want to offer you to join my coaching program. My group coaching program for this entire month is only $49 a month. So it is literally under $2 a day to get a transformation coach with nutrition, with a fitness program, um, telling you what to do, how to do it, guiding you on the mindset, giving you mindset techniques to overhaul the past um, uh, habits that perpetuate the same cycle that's led you where you don't want to be, um, a membership site. Um, all of these things are all included with a VIP coaching group too with other like-minded people. And so all of this is included um, in that group coaching program. Um, and I'm getting such great results with it. And so I want to offer also um, along with that, um, maybe you're to that point that you go, you know what, I just need something a little bit more to pull the trigger. I also have right now for a limited time, 14 days, um, I have a two week trial and it's only $1. So I believe in my program and my process so much that I want you to test drive what I can do and test drive my program um, and see how fitting it can be for you and how great of the results that you can get that I'm willing to put my name on it and allow people to try this for $1 for an entire two weeks. Um, if you like it if, it, if you feel like it's a great fit for you, stay in it and you get locked into the rate of $49 a month and the rate is going up in January because of course that is extremely uh, low price for what I offer. Um, whenever typically my one hour um, personal training cost is $95 in one hour, you're getting the cost of what a half hour would be for the entire program. So nevertheless, um, that is going up on, um, on January 1st, so be sure to get in and lock in your rates right now. Um, click on the link that's in my comments. I'll post that in just a moment. Um, that is the 14 day trial and you can get started for just a buck. Um, give it a try and uh, you'll absolutely love the program. So um, I'm so excited for those of you who have already taken a chance and signed up this week. Um, I'm so, so excited. You're going to do amazing. 
Uh, thanks guys for tuning in. Tune back in tomorrow. I've got another really great topic that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, thanks for tuning in and I will catch you tomorrow.